Hi everybody, my name's Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition. Where today we're going to be unboxing something super exciting and super bright. And this is Merv, the Heart of the Silk Road. It comes from publisher Osprey Games, who very kindly have sent me this review copy to share with you. Um, and it is designed by Fabio Lopanio. Um, I hope that's pronounced correctly. And with artwork by Ian O'Toole. Um, and I love that that's written on the cover. I love that you can see exactly who was involved from here and when you talk about something the heart of the Silk Road we're expecting caravans, camels, brightness, you know something very cool um, for sure and involving sands and deserts. Um, so as usual with my unboxings I don't actually know much about the game itself so we'll have a quick look um, around the side of the box and see what it tells us. So continue telling us more it's got a nice side on it doesn't it? It's very pretty. Um, Osprey Games do make some very pretty things. And here we can learn. I'm still trying to learn the player count. Like, did I miss something? It doesn't seem to be on the outside of the box. Maybe it's on the inside. But um, at least here we have an idea of what's going to be going on in the box. And it is beautiful and colourful, isn't it? Can't wait to get inside it. It says, a gateway between the east and the west. A hub of scholarship and trade. The greatest city in the world. Oh, I like the idea of cities. So, players are vying to amass power and wealth in the prosperous city. Sounds like a traditional Euro game. Oh, here we go. Finally. It's in small print. So, it's for ages 14 plus. It's supposed to take 90 minutes. And it's for one to four players with a solo mode. Um, I love seeing solo modes in games these days. I think it's fantastic. Especially with the state of the world is in. It's better to play games by yourself than not at all. Right, okay, let's go. Let's dig. Da -da 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 -da. By the way, really sturdy box. Kind of a... That feel. Um, and inside... Oh, it's orange inside the lid. I just love that stuff when they do things like that. Okay, so, game rules. This is a very wide rule book. It's, in fact, the size of the box. Um, it's on some kind of nice paper. Wow, it's colourful, isn't it? The minute you open that up, that's kind of impressive. Um, so it tells you all the components. We're going to get walls and gates and camels. Yes, champion. Um, there's the solo cards. Look at the board. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to get to see this. Um, it looks like, wow, that's a busy board. Um, kind of like Raja the Ganges, right? Something about it has that vibe. But everything's clearly marked. And then there's an introduction and a historical note. And then here we go. How to play. This is beautifully laid out. Um, and I love the use of colour and little icons and things. So we're just going to have a very quick pile here. It doesn't seem to, like the text is small, but it doesn't seem to be crammed in here. There's a good number of pages. Libraries, walls, a marketplace, a mosque. Cool. And then we've got the single player, the corrupt magistrate. There's also seems to be a two player version, um, which it matters much to me. Um, so we see what that's about and then more extra bits, the credits and is there anything on the back? Haha, -ha, my favourite. So it's got a year overview, so obviously we're playing in years. Explains the icons, the scoring phase. Perfect, that's what you want. Okay, so we are into the cardboard. Goodness me. This is, <laughs> this is mostly the rest of the game. Um, wow, that's some thick cardboard. Let's have a pop out. Um, this is absolutely lovely, lovely cardboard. It's got like kind of oh, kind of a rough finish on the top and then yeah, same on the back. And they're beautifully colored, aren't they? So we seem to have things like peaches, knives, pistachios, grapes, and then these beautiful buildings, some scrolls. Okay, I'm really loving the colors. The colors are fantastic. So we put those in there. We'll pop these out later for fun when no one is watching. So we've got definitely more tokens and these tiles seem to be playing a big part. I love it. it says discard this tile okay oh it's only two sheets haha <gasps> -ha, we have the game board okay how big do you think it is lads <laughs> um must not rip board when i open it first question is there's only one side to this board and it looks like oops <laughs> board's bigger than my camera space all right so we'll do this in bits okay so we'll start at the top together you guys should be able to see that. So you can see this the track here um, for keeping our victory points. And then we have another track here. Okay, good. This looks like something to do with castle walls, perhaps. All right. And then we're going to get down here to the middle bit where clearly we're going to play a Zul. Um, and then there's this track here for places you're going. And over here looks like something you're climbing. It's like a talent tree of camels. 
this looks very cool. I have to say this board is very, very beautifully laid out. The colours are fantastic. And then down here, it looks like that's stuff with scrolls and things, or it's got like a hat over the palace. Clearly that means something. And then over here we have more scrolls. It's a good size board actually. It's almost a square, but not quite. I have a thing against square boards to be honest. Um, so yeah, that is beautiful. Up we go. Now, what's left? Stuff in bags. All right, so we have a good array of these with some cards. And we'll look at these a little bit more closely. Okay, so firstly, we have some cards. So let's see what's on the back of them, if we can decipher what they are. So we got these types and ooh, these types, but they come in a variety of beautiful colors. So we're going to start with these red ones. So these seem to be something to do with goods and they have red points on the bottom. Then we have these ones here, which have yellow points on the bottom. Yeah, me guessing, but you can kind of see where this is going. It looks like, you know, you turn things into things or you hand them in for victory points and going with some sort of gold cards. It's not too many of those. And then these ones have camels on them. So obviously we're traveling places. This one, okay, actually this looks way more like trading. Trading on non equals, non -equals um, of those types to get this many points um, kind of thing. Feels a little bit like five tribes um, of all the different types of goods. I like the art on them, they're pretty. Cool, so that is all the cards. Let's see what's next. So we have these selection of cards. I, I kind of feel like maybe they are for the solo mode because they're kind of instructions for the order in which things would happen. So we got a couple of things like this, like priorities, I think. That's my guess. Okay, so next then is we're into all of the tokens. So what it's looking like here is that we have one set of each of the player colors. So you get this lovely light blue, a red, a yellow, and a black. And each one has a series of meeples, a bunch of round discs, and some tiny houses. So we'll have a little look. I think these are just standard wood things, but we'll look at one of them. Interesting that there's no green. Yeah, they're just your regular kind of standard woodeny meeples with woodeny houses, with woodeny discs. So those are your player choices. Um, now, what I do think is nice, and what I think is the case, is that there's this bag here that has one of everybody's color and one extra black disc. Now these guys look bigger than everybody else's, so they must be important. Because for a minute I thought maybe they'd given you a replacement for each, but no, these look like your leaders or something like that. So they come separately as well. But they're all made of this nice stuff. All right, let's see what's next after the meeple portion. So after the meeple portion, you have to have cubes or this wouldn't be a Euro game. Um, so they come in the um, beige and white variety, along with the purple, um, the lovely seafoam green and the orange. Um, yes, these are just like little cubes, but they definitely match the color of the board for sure. And next up we have some seriously chunky camels. I am so delighted that there are camel, me me camel meeples in this game. Um, I've always wanted a game with camels. Um, and so we have camels and there's, look how thick they are. Like, that is just madness. Um, but they're super cute. There are not very many of them, so I guess we're not going to be collecting camels. But I'm delighted to see camel meeples in a game about the Silk Road. Um, okay, brilliant. So next pieces are very exciting. So it looks like we have wall pieces. See, they got little ridges. Do they sit on top of each other? Kind of. We got walls, but you know what? I really think these ridges are for this thing that comes in the next bag, which is woohoo! Tops of walls. Please fit. Uh, only kind of. So what's the point of the ridges on them? I guess it's just to make them look like walls. So you guys can see we have these lovely pieces. So we're building walls. We only have four of these top bits, so maybe we're not going too far. It's bringing out the Lego child in me. Um, so yeah, they seem to fit together. Maybe they're supposed to go around that away. I don't know. We'll have to find out, but these are very lovely made wooden pieces. I think they're gonna look great on the board, aren't they? Definitely gives you like the feel and the vibe of the game. Uh, so that seems to be everything um, out of the packets. Let's see, can I put it all back in the box? Okay, it actually fits in pretty well. There's lots of room for all the pieces. Now I haven't popped everything out yet, but there's plenty of room for more bags. 
Um, so what do you guys think of Merv the Heart of the Silk Road? That is a lengthy title indeed. Um, I think it's gorgeous. I cannot wait to try it out. It looks like such a fun Euro game. Um, so yeah, definitely excited. Um, so have you guys heard about this before now? Were, were you curious to hear more? Because this is your chance. Um, and thank you guys for watching. So as usual, you should probably like or subscribe to the channel because you might get updates about my future videos. Um, where I do all sorts of fun things like reviews and unboxings and just general board game chit chat. Um, so thank you for watching and hopefully I'll catch you again for another kind of short and informative piece of, um, I don't know, board game press. Yes, board game press. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.